CSS Grid. Have you started to buy in? We've already covered how you can create a grid using the display property of an element and setting it to grid. Then we covered creating rows and column templates and named grid areas. We then covered some advanced CSS grid techniques, which lead us perfectly into our next lesson, which will be on using CSS grid and Flexbox to create responsive layouts. And responsive layouts are a must these days in front-end web development. And I'll make my pitch to you for why CSS Grid is the best option and perfect solution for responsive web design.